plants. So many plants. All over the world. Tall plants. Short plants. Spotted plants. Prickly plants. Thick plants. Thin plants. Waxy plants. Spiky plants. Plants that climb. Even plants that eat bugs. Nature produces thousands of different flowers. Ferns, vines, shrubs, trees and grasses. With many different shapes, sizes and colours. And they are all plants. Even tall trees in a forest and short grass on a sports field are plants. And so are daisies and lavender, ivy and hostas, bamboo and mulberry trees. And plants are living things. Like puppies and kittens, plants have some basic needs to survive. Can you tell what plants need? A plant grows best in the right environment, where it can get the right amount of air, water, nutrients and space. When a plant finds the right amount of water, air, nutrients and space, it can grow. Even in a crack in the pavement. Most plants have three basic parts. Can you name them? The three basic plant parts are roots, stem and leaves. Many plants also have flowers and fruit. Roots absorb water and nutrients for the plant and help keep the plant from falling over or blowing away. Plant roots usually grow in soil. A stem brings water and nutrients from the roots to the other parts of the plant. Stems help support the plant. The stem of a tree is its trunk and branches. Leaves usually grow from the stem. Leaves take in sunlight and produce food for the plant. People use plants for many things such as tree wood for furniture and fuel, cotton for clothing and plants such as indigo, beetroots and henna for paints and dyes. People also use many plants for food such as spinach and carrots and apples. Some plants such as aloe and foxglove and willow are used to make medicines. Plants are very important to life on Earth. Because of that, some people study plants. Do you know what they're called? They're called botanists. Botanists are the explorers of the plant world. A botanist studies plant parts and how they work. Botanists may try to improve plants or identify new ones. They may study how plants adapt to changing environments. Botanists can work in laboratories, greenhouses, and even outside where the plants grow. Children can study plants too, because plants are everywhere, in backyards, in city parks, sometimes even in a classroom. Explore the plants near your school or home. How many different plants can you name?